Welcome back. Chapter 7-1, we're going to uh, be preparing an income statement today. Um, and basically, kind of where we're at in the accounting cycle, we've gone through steps 1 through 7. We've 1 through 6, rather. We've analyzed it the transactions, we've journalized the transaction, we've posted to the ledger, we've prepared the trial balance, we've journalized and uh, posted the adjusting entry, uh, we've created a worksheet as we did uh, in chapter six, and now we're at step seven where we're going to prepare the financial statements. There basically, there's four major uh, financial statements, uh, income statement, owner's equity, statement of cash flows, and a balance sheet. Um, today we're just going to look at one of them, and that's going to be the income statement. Now an income statement, just to kind of review, is basically a statement that shows your revenue and expenses, and uh, it's important because it gets us to our net income. Income. So uh, what we're going to do is also we're going to basically take the information from our worksheet and we're going to be transferring it right down to the income statement to kind of put it in a more uh, usable and usable form for our uh, for shareholders and stakeholders. So in this example, we're going to prepare an income statement for the month ended August 31st of the current year. So the first thing we want to do when we want to prepare an income statement is we need to make sure we have the crop proper label on it. So the first thing we'll do is who, who's the business? Well, in this case, it's Lens Laundry. Uh, next thing we're going to do is what are we producing? What are we creating? We're, well, we are creating an income statement and when. And in this case, we'll say for the month ended August 31st, 2000 whatever. Now, if you notice on the next columns below it, you're going to notice something new that may seem odd. There is no titles on them except the far right one. Uh, that's the case. Um, this is one of a multi-column income statements. You can actually uh, get to four or more columns. Uh, and the best way to kind of describe like what goes in what columns, uh, the far left column, uh, that's going to be your description, as you'll see. Uh, but the middle ones, um, you're going to you're going to basically the far right one is going to be your totals. So the revenue total will go in that that column right there and then the account balances or basically you showing your work will go into that column that we have pointed out there. That's the best way to kind of describe what goes there. Um, it may get a little tricky. This is not a debit and credit um, Rather, this is totals, accounts, balances, and that stuff. So as we said before, our income statement is revenue less expenses to get us to our net income or net loss sometimes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take from our worksheet up above uh, our revenue. Well, our revenue in this case, we only have one revenue source, and that is sales. And we are going to write sales. We're going to indent a little when we write sales. Um, and then it, since we don't have multiple sales categories, we are going to use that third column. and we are are going to put our 6150 in there, copied straight from the income statement credit column uh, on the uh, on the worksheet. Well, that's all of our revenue. So now we need to figure out what percent of revenue is it of sales. Well, to calculate total revenue as a percent of sales, it's basically sales divided by sales. In this case, it's 100 percent. And in every case, your total sales will be 100 percent of your sales uh, on every income statement. If not, you've got a lot of problems, um, but we need to make sure that that's 100%. So I told you before, income statement is revenue less expenses. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start listing our expenses. So I'm going to use expenses. Put a, I'm going to leave that um, expenses next. And then as you can see up here, I have five different expenses and I'm going to be calcul I'm going to be adding them on there. So each one I'm going to indent a little bit. Okay, so I have my advertising expense. Now, since I have multiple expenses, I'm not going to use that third column yet. I will use that to total it, uh, but rather I'm going to use the second column to show my work and show where, how I got to that number. So uh, advertising expense, so I'm going to put them here, 600. Insurance expense is 300. Miscellaneous expense is 325. Supplies expense is 500. And utilities expense is 50. Is 1550. Now, once again, I'm not making up these numbers. I am just basically taking them from the worksheet, and that's one of the benefits of the worksheet. It makes it more efficient and a lot more easier to create those these uh, these financial statements for our shareholders and stakeholders. So now that I have them all, now I'm going to add them all up together, and I'm going to write the word total expenses. Now, since they're added up together, this is my category total. So since it's my category total, I'm going to use that third column now and put 3275. So now the next thing I have to do is I have to turn around and I have to figure out, okay, what is it the percent of sales? 
Well, to calculate the total expenses as a percent of sales, I'm going to take total expenses divided by sales. So in this case, I'm going to take 32.75 divided by 61.50, and I will get 53.3%. So basically, uh, for every dollar coming in, 53 cents is basically going to cover other expenses. Um, operating and uh, operating in other types of costs. So as I told you before, rev uh, revenue less expenses is going to be our net income. So that's our next case here. We have to find our net income. So to find net income is just basically we're going to take our, our revenue total, subtract it from our total expense total, and that's going to get us our net income. In this case, it's a positive number. Uh, since it's a positive number, that means it's net income. If it was a, ne a negative number, that would be considered net loss. Uh, so we would write net income since it is a positive number of 28.75. Now, one thing you want to know to check your work to make sure that you've done it correctly is you want to take that 28.75 and look back to your worksheet and what did you write down for uh, your net income on the worksheet and it and we did it right because it's 28.75 and they all match so we can kind of check our work there and then 28.75 we need to figure out what percentage is it of a sales well to calculate net income or loss as a percentage of sales uh, net income or loss as a percent of sales is 28.75 divided by 61.50 which is our total sales is our, our total sales is going to be our denominator and that gives us 46.7 percent so and then we will find that stuff. So I talked a little bit about what happens if we have an income statement with, a, with two sources of revenue. And all you would do is just, then we would use that second column. We would just, each category uh, would have sales lessons, sales repairs, and then total revenue would be in that third category. So that total column is in the third column. Uh, the subtotals are going to be in the second column. Uh, in this case, you'll notice here down the bottom, our revenues do exceed our expenses by $856. Uh, in accounting, we don't use negatives, if you remember. We use parentheses. So that's a negative 856, and that's a negative 23.7% of sales. So um, not a good thing. But yet, you know, yet again, all the amounts are on there same way just we're going to use parentheses a little different and if we have different revenue accounts uh, then we're going to use uh, use 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 list them individually and so this is kind of uh, just to kind of share a little bit this is McDonald's uh, you can see that they have different revenue sources up there um, they have multiple revenue sources if you take a look at all their operating costs okay uh, they're gonna have the same thing they have that they have it listed total um, they have their total net income. You can see whether it's going up or down. Um, they have in three nine months period. Chipotle, same thing. Now Chipotle only only lists one form of, form of revenue, where McDonald's lists multiple. It's really up to the uh, to the institution. Um, and just as long as adequate disclosure is taking place. Uh, restaurant operating costs, it talks about its food beverage packaging. So there's the cost of goods and the revenue. Um, there's And then there's ultimately their net income, as you can see. Mc Chipotle did very 